Hi, my name is Vivian and I'm a clinical trainer with Medtronic. Did you know that making some small changes to the way you insert and tape your sensor can help your sensor last longer? Here are some tips we'd recommend for you. First, let's talk about where you wear your sensor. Did you know you can wear it in a couple places? For those 14 and up, the sensor can be worn on your abdomen or back of the arm. It's best to try both locations to find out what works for you. Always look for spots where the sensor can lie flat and where clothing doesn't rub. For example, you may want to avoid inserting near your belt line. It's also good to stay clear of places where your body naturally bends a lot. Our second tip is about sensor insertion. When you're inserting a new sensor, make sure you hold the sensor in place for a few seconds. This ensures that the adhesive has enough time to properly stick to the skin, helping to keep your sensor in place for the full wear. Finally, our third tip is about tape. You should always use the oval tape that comes with your sensors. Take a look at this clip that shows how to correctly tape the sensor. Okay, I've opened the adhesive and I'm going to wipe it around the sensor and under the sensor like this. I'll make sure to hold the sensor in place so it stays secure and wait for the adhesive to dry completely before moving on to the next step, which may take up to a minute or two. Now I'm going to take off the paper liner from the sensor adhesive pad and press firmly to make sure the sensor remains attached to the skin, like this. Next comes applying the first piece of oval tape to keep the sensor secure. You can see that there's a number one and number two on the paper liners. First, I'll take off the paper liner with a number one, but won't take off the liners with number two just yet. I'll flip the tab to make sure that the tape does not cover it. And I'll put the tape like this, so the wide part covers about half of the sensor and the other half is on my skin. It's important not to block the connector here. I'm applying gentle pressure on the tape to help it stick. Now I can take off the liners labeled number two. Make sure to smooth everything down, and once again, apply gentle pressure to make sure everything adheres well. Okay, now I can secure the sensor with one hand and slide the transmitter on until it clicks into place with the other. See? The green light starts flashing, which means it's connected. I'm going to gently fold the tab right over the transmitter like this to hold it in place. Now I need the second piece of oval tape to help secure the transmitter. Again, I'm going to peel off the liner with number one and hold the tape by the covered ends. This time though, I'm going to turn the tape so the wide part covers about half of the transmitter and the rest of it covers my skin. Okay, that looks good. I'm just going to apply gentle pressure and then take off the tabs marked with number two and smooth it all down.
there. Now my sensor and transmitter are fully secured. When it comes to tape, oval tape might not be enough by itself to hold your sensor for the full seven days. Some people sweat more than others and may need to use some extra tape. You can apply extra tape on day one or a few days later if you start to notice the oval tape is lifting. We hope these tips are helpful. Thanks for watching.